There is no issue too complicated for mediation. I don't care if there are eight to ten difficult issues that are intertwined in the case or multiple parties, the process works. And it works generally in spades. Once we get the parties down, once we talk to them and let them express themselves and start to find out what their interests are, the process works and we can come out with a successful result no matter how difficult the case is. When I walk into the room at the start of a mediation, it's, it's a pretty serious moment because the parties are new to the process. The lawyers are kind of looking to the mediator to shape the day. I do what's called setting the table. It's a mediator's term where we go over all the rules for that day. And once we get started with each party telling their story, then things start to melt down. We start to get a flow in the mediation and a lot of really good results come out of that once we get the parties to that point. The fact that they commit to show up for the mediation is huge in and of itself. And once they get there, and after the first half hour or so where they've each told their story, they start to get comfortable with it. I think I'm asking enough probative questions of them where I, they start to feel like we do care and we are searching for a solution to help them find a solution. And uh, once that comfort level sets in, we've got a positive day going. It's important in mediation that the parties understand that um, what the mediator is doing. First of all, he's neutral. And he states his neutrality at the start of the mediation. He's there to help facilitate negotiation or conversation between the two parties themselves who end up crafting their own deal. That's a really important part of mediation. It's not trusting the mediator, it's trusting the process. In a successful mediation, the the interests of the parties are tapped into and we use those interests to find a result that's satisfactory to both of the parties and litigation and the results from litigation don't do that. That's a judge or a jury and a judge making a decision for you that doesn't necessarily take into account your interests. If the parties become a bit adversarial we meet with them individually and their attorneys if they're there and we try to get them back to helping us helping themselves find their own solutions to the dispute and generally speaking uh, when you put parties in a room um, the the and they express themselves and they get their feelings out it's amazingly uh, tranquil once that takes place. It opens the doors to a, to a huge amount of opportunity to really dig in and, and help them solve their problems. As the day wears on and the mediator spends more and more time with the parties and vice versa, I think a mutual respect develops. They know that you know what you're talking about they know that you've listened carefully to what their concerns and what their issues and their interests are. And once you get past that point of achieving their confidence, then the doors open to a successful result. Another really important thing that comes out of a positive mediation is that the process is totally confidential and the agreements are totally confidential unlike a court case that's out in the public. And the parties can go on with their lives with their business reputation secure and strong and nobody really needs to know what took place except that apparently it was a positive result.